The next fight is against the Major Circuit Champion, Bald Bull. So, to fight against Bald Bull, Phase 1 is extremely easy. It's something called the 18 second knockdown. Let's just watch real quickly how the 18 second knockdown works. And there he goes down right away. <laughs> See that? Very, very simple. Very simple way to knock him down. Let's break it down a little bit, though, so you understand exactly what happened there. As the fight starts, I'm already holding up and B. Okay? Punch him once, punch him again. And then you're just alternating. Every single time you get a star, use it immediately. You're just alternating punches and star punches. That's all you do for the 18 second delay. So it's punch, punch, star. Holding up the whole time. Punch, star. Punch, star, punch, star. And that's it. That's all you have to do for phase one. Remember to hold up the entire time. Very, very simple for the 18 second knockdown. Now phase two, we're going to just go back to some really simple basic strategy. Dodge and punch. Dodge and punch. That's all we're going to do. So he gets up. Just punch him right away when he gets up. Okay. And we're just going to dodge three hooks. After these three hooks, he's going to go into uppercuts. Or he might do rolling jabs. He might do that. Okay, so I'm glad that we saw that. So if he does those rolling jabs, just quickly punch him in the face three times and you'll get some stars. And you got to be careful with those stars, though, because sometimes he will sometimes he will do that on your star punches. So you need to be very careful. In fact, it's better just to, if you just want to get through, to, through him quickly, just ignore the star punches. That's all you have to do. You don't really need to worry about star punches at all. So let's go back to phase two again. And let's say... Okay, once again, we're going to do three. Most of the time, he's going to do three hooks. There it is. Now he's going to go into his uppercuts, okay? You know, he does his uppercuts really quickly. So you got to be prepared. You're going to be allowed to punch him seven times after each uppercut. He can do anywhere between one and three uppercuts. So you just need to be prepared for one, two, or three uppercuts after he does his three, um, after he does his three hooks. So let's look at phase two again one more time. Okay, so he gets up. Let's see. Now, he might go into rolling jabs as well again. Remember that. If he does, you just punch him in the face quickly three times. Here he goes. Rolling jabs. I could tell because he delayed a little bit, okay? That's how I knew he was going to go into rolling jabs, okay? And remember, you can try to do super punches, but sometimes he'll he'll dodge it. So you got to be very careful with those. So it's, it's best just to avoid doing super punches at all if you're a beginner. It's really not that big a deal. You really don't need to hit him down with any super punches. Okay, so let's... One more time, work on phase two, and then we'll go on to phase three. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see what he does. He goes right into his uppercuts after three hooks. How many uppercuts is he going to do? He only did one. Okay, so I just keep on dodging and punching. That's all you want to do right here. Keep on dodging and punching. He's going into rolling jabs, so I'm going to start. Once I see that he delays a little bit longer, I know he's going into rolling jabs, so quickly punch him in the face. Now, phase three, we're just going to do the, do the exact same thing. Continue dodging and punching, dodging and punching. You can try to get a star punch in there, but it's very difficult, so don't, you don't even need to bother, really, because you have plenty of time to defeat him. Going into rolling jabs again. Just keep on dodging and punching. Now, depending on how many rolling jabs he does, he might go into his bull charge, but uh, at the two-minute mark, usually he goes into his bull charge, but we were able to get him down right there before he started his bull charge. But let's say we're not able to get him down before that two-minute mark, and he that means he's going to go into his bull charge. So let's look real quickly at what his bull charge looks like, okay? So, right here, he starts his bull charge. Now, that's what the bull charge looks like right there. He backs up. And then he jumps forward three times and then punches you with a huge uppercut. You're going to go down no matter what, unless you dodge. And if you dodge, he's just going to continue to go over and over again. So you have to stand up to him. Boom. Just like that, right before he punches you, you have to punch him in the gut. So he's going to back up. And um, you have to listen to the da 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 right there as he's coming forward. After the third da 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 that is when you know to punch. So listen very carefully. He's going to back up. One, two, three, boom. You've got to punch him right in the gut, right before he's getting ready to do his uppercut on you. And that's how you take care of the bull charge. Okay, let's look at that one more time for good measure. 
Okay, so he's going to back up right here. Come forward, and then right before he's ready to punch you, that's when you just give him a swift punch in the gut, and he will go down every time. Every time. The timing is very important. You have a little bit more time than you think. Wait a little bit longer than you think you need to. Be patient. Be patient right there. Don't try to hit him too early, or else it will not work. Okay, so let's look at this whole fight again one more time. 18 second knockdown. Get the star, punch. Star, use it. Star, and use it. Star, and use it. Okay? So he goes down, and now to start phase two, I'm already still holding up in B. Because I'm just going to punch him in the face real quickly as he gets up. And remember, I'm not even going to worry about star punches in phase two or three because they're too tricky. He gets too tricky when you, when you use star punches. Okay, so that's three. Now he goes into his uppercuts. I can hit him seven times. How many uppercuts? He only did one. Okay, he can do one, two, or three. Okay, so we have him down. And now going into phase three, we'll see if we even have to deal with the bull, with the bull charge. Just get ready to continue to dodge and punch. He's going to go right into hooks. There's the first hook. Here's the second hook. Let's see if he does some rolling jabs here. He's, he is going to do some rolling jabs, so just punch him in the face a couple times like this during the rolling jabs. No big deal. Get ready for the hooks again. And he's going into rolling jabs again, and I can tell because of the extra delay. And so so then he just goes down. And that's it. That's the end. So remember, uh, the main thing you need to remember is, in phases two and three, is how many times... He, he, he's going to do three hooks. If he doesn't do the three hooks, and if he delays a little bit longer, he's going to go into the rolling jabs. And uh, after he does his three hooks, if he's going to go immediately into either one, two, or three uppercuts. So just be aware of the timing and the pattern. That's all you need to do on him. So thank you very much for watching Bald Bull. If you have any questions about him, please leave them in the comment section, and I will gladly answer them. And we will uh, continue with the next fighter uh, in just a few minutes. So thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.